These days, caravanning is very much seen as a hobby for couples, but it wasn't always so. In the old days, it was a pastime for families, and Eldis is keen to get back to those days. And they're doing it with this. It's the new Avante 866. And isn't it a monster? It's absolutely enormous. As you can see from those two little windows at the back, it's got fixed bunk beds, giving it six berths overall. And considering that this is pretty much a lower mid-market van, there's an enormous amount of kit on there. We've got an Alco hitch stabiliser and ATC, which of course is very useful to have in such a big caravan. We've got alloy wheels and secure wheel lock receivers. And inside, there's plenty more to look at. But there are a couple of small shortcomings that I've found on the outside. I'd really like to have seen heavy duty steadies, considering that it's a heavy duty caravan. And it would have been really good to see at least one external locker. There is that front gas locker, but there's no other access to any of the internal spaces. Bearing in mind that families seem to produce a huge amount of muddy, wet gear, that really is quite a useful thing for stowing all those wellies and coats and the like. Once you're inside the van, you really can have no complaints about storage. We've got seven overhead lockers, four in the lounge here and three over the dinette. And these massive sofas, well, they contain massive storage spaces underneath. Plenty of room to put all your bedding and you can access them using little drop down doors on either side. There's this rather neat shelf up here and then a front chest, which you can of course swap for wraparound seating should you want to. This chest is the only sensible place to put your telly in this van, which not everyone will like, but there's no additional sideboard. And being such a massive space, at night it turns into a vast double bed. Now we've jumped from the front of the van to the very back, and here there's a little bit of a revolution going on. This is the kid zone. They've got their own special little dinette with a two-seater bench and a stool. It's the perfect place for them to sit and play cards or relax or just to get away from mum and dad. And then check out those bunks. They're like sailor's bunks on a ship. Little bedroom pods that add privacy without feeling claustrophobic. Each one gets a quality curtain, a light and their own window. And there's a little roof light overhead. I really think this is a special space. Although I find this wall a bit blank, I could really see my kids staying in here, making their own and covering it with posters. But the truly revolutionary thing about this van is the eight in its name, 866. Eight stands for eight feet wide. Now that's previously something we've only really seen in flagship vans, but it means that in the 866, we get two bunks, a dinette, and would you believe it, the other side of this wall, there's a decent sized washroom. The door aperture is a bit narrow, but once you're inside, it really is surprisingly spacious. There's a large fully lined shower cubicle, not one but two bathroom cabinets, and a rather smart new bowl sink. I also really like the fact that there's a little bit of worktop, just the place for kids to stick their toothbrushes, toothpaste, perhaps a rubber duck or two. The only drawback for me is the fact that although there's a roof light, there's no side window, and I don't really see why. Moving forward from the washroom, we've got a massive wardrobe here on the offside with two hanging rails, and it's also where you'll find the freestanding table to go in the lounge. On the near side, there's a microwave at a really sensible height and a huge family friendly fridge, but I've really saved the best till last. And that is this vast kitchen area. Now I don't know about you, but when I'm buying a home, I really take the mantra that kitchen is the heart of the home. And elders have taken that approach with the 866. It makes the very best use of that huge eight foot width to fit in what is a huge dinette area. You'll sit four people, maybe five at a push in here. And I love the fact that it's got a proper fixed table, much like a continental caravan. It really feels very solid. This is a lovely place for the family to sit and have breakfast. Now on the other side, we've got a really generous kitchen. There's plenty of space here for preparing a meal for a family. It's boosted by this cover over the sink, which you can use as a prep area, but the sink itself is huge, big enough to do a family's washing up. There's also a worktop flap at the end, should you need more and masses and masses of storage. Three overhead lockers, two large cupboards, and three drawers underneath, plus a pan cupboard beneath the oven, which has a separate grill, and a dual fuel four burner hob. Now the dinette at night can be turned into another massive double bed. 
you flip up little supports on each end of the sofas and with an infill cushion and dropping the table it makes up a double. But what I think this van really scores on is as a family four bed. So mum and dad get that enormous bed at the front, the kids get the bunks at the back and in the morning there's no putting away a bed, you all just gather in this heart of the home, mum or dad cooks the breakfast, passes it over and we all have a lovely social morning. Now this particular 866 is actually the prototype and final weights have yet to be completely confirmed but they're expected to be no more than around 1800 kilos which is actually pretty reasonable when you think about what a big van it is. That said you're going to need a decent sized SUV to pull it and I'd recommend that you're a pretty experienced tow car driver but this van is definitely aimed at serious caravanners and for a family who spends a lot of time in their van it really could transform their holidays to have all of that space and all of that storage. I do have one word of warning however, if you've got kids and you've decided you don't want an 866 just don't let them have a look at that kids zone because pester power is quite a force to be reckoned with.